when a process is created the operating system has to maintain information about the process and so all this information is maintained in a process control block this is a data structure which is main, created and maintained by operating system so each process is represented in the system by this data structure which is the process control block so what all does the pcb contain it contains the process number we know that each process is assigned a unique id it may also be known as the process id so the process id or the process number is stored in the process control block then the state of the process at that moment in time is also stored in the pcb since the process is a program in execution it may be present in a particular state it may be in the ready state the running state wait state or the terminated state so the state of the process is also maintained in the process control block the information about the program counter is also there this process is a program in execution that means instructions are being executed so the address of the next instruction that is to be executed is available in the program counter this is a special purpose register and also maintained in the process control block the contents of the cpu registers is also maintained here the process might be using many general purpose or special purpose registers so the contents of the the registers which are being used by the process like the general purpose registers the stack pointer the index register all of this information is also stored the contents of these registers is available in the pcb the scheduling information of the process is also available scheduling means that the way in which the process will be assigned the cpu so there is an algorithm and each system follows an algorithm to assign the processor to that particular process so what what is the priority of the current process in which scheduling queue that process has to go to so the pointer to the scheduling queue other parameters would also be available in this pcb then there is memory management information also stored here so we know that some memory is allocated to the process so what are the base and the limit that means what is the starting address of the process what is the maximum address that that particular process has been assigned then some entry into the page table this we will discuss later but this is a way of telling where in the memory that process is existing so all this information is also put in the pcb the process may also be using certain input output devices so what are the input output devices allocated to the process what is the list of files which are which have been opened by the process and are in use that information is also kept apart from this the process control block may have the accounting information that means how much of cpu it has used what has been the clock time elapsed since it started is there a time limit assigned to this process and some other information as well can be put as part of the accounting information depending upon the system implementation there would be some other parameters or other information could also be stored in this process control block